Hey everybody, what's up? Yesterday I got this guitar in the mail from Siggy Braun. I'm excited to check this guitar out. I have an idea of what it is. Let's get right to it. I think this is one of their new Zenrock series, so let's check it out. All right, moment of truth. Here we go. Ta-da! And that is exactly what it is. It is a Zenrock Phoenix, and um, it looks pretty rad. It's got a maple fretboard, which is cool. Uh, Five-piece wenge. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me hold up to the camera. Pretty rad. It's got those hip shot locking tuners with the exposed gears. Those are pretty cool. Always was a fan of those. And it's got that string through body hip shot bridge. It's got a lesion pickups, 26 and a half inch scale. Um, yeah, what a nice guitar. Super, super nice. I mean, the finish is rad. It's got that purple crackle to it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it looks pretty cool. Awesome fretboard. The neck feels really good. I mean, just quality, quality guitars. And I am proud to be an artist at Siggy Braun. Um, you know, super nice guitar. I think it's cool with the uh, wood uh, truss rod cover. Looks classy. Hell yeah. This is a Zenrock designed by Siggy Braun guitar. It's number two. So that's pretty rad. Um, which means, you know, it's the shiz. But anyway, yeah, Elysian Pickups, Hip Shot Bridge, 26 and a half inch scale. It's got those Lumile side dots. I don't know if you guys can see them, but those really do make a difference on a dark stage. Uh, maple Neck, 16 inch radius. And then the fretboard width is 48 millimeters and 65 and a half. Um, yeah, this guitar feels good. It's nice and heavy. Like, it feels like it should be a seven string. Um, you know, it's, uh... Got a really nice 2K satin finish, and it weighs 3.5 kilograms, and it came with a cool gig bag. Um, yeah, you know, standard strap buttons. We'll get some strap locks on this baby, but uh, yeah, what a nice guitar. It feels substantial. You know, uh, the neck is straight, and let's see if it's shipped in tune. Pretty close, man. This thing is ready to play. The action feels good right out of the box. And yeah, single knob, pickup selector, the knob, volume knob's out of the way so your hand won't, you know, hit it, which is really nice when you're picking. That's one thing some guitar brands, you know, have a problem with, in my opinion. They put their volume knob too close to the bridge, you end up turning your guitar down. And this thing's built like a tank. And, uh, you know, my signature model um, is also extremely durable. That thing has seen some traveling, a lot of different climates, been on a few tours, Played that guitar sight unseen for a tour, and it held up better than I expected. It surpassed all expectations, and I got a good feeling about this one. I'm going to be doing some playthrough videos on this guitar, uh, making some backing tracks with it. And me and this guitar tomorrow are flying to the Bay Area for a video shoot. So I'm excited to uh, be using it in the video. Once again, shout out to RJ and Steve at Siggy Ron Guitars for hooking me up with the guitar and... Uh, Keep your eyes peeled for that video. Also, like I said, backing tracks and some playthrough videos. Right on.